You heard of those guys? You know, tycoons of their their time, right? These guys are the turn of the centuries. These are the oil and the railroad uh, and the steel industry, right? Those are those are the guys, the same trillionaires back then, right? Did you know that they were the ones that started the first pharmaceutical company? That's right, in the United States. Did you know that? And they actually hired a guy by the name of Flexner. And this, this Flexner actually went around he went around to all the medical schools and chiropractic schools and went to all the all the universities and all the acupuncture schools and all these places and said, look, if you'll join our ranks, if you'll do what we ask you to do and you promote our drugs, because that's what Rockefeller and Carnegie wanted to do, that they'll promote them and elevate them. Because, and by the way, we all know this, especially since 2020, we know whoever controls the megaphone or the media controls the message. And folks, that's what Carnegie and Rockefeller did. They hired this flexor to go around and, 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 and go to these colleges and say, if you will promote our stuff, sell our drugs, pimp our medicine out to your patients, then we'll pay you good money. We'll elevate you in the societal ranks that are out there and we'll make sure that your competition is destroyed. And by the way, if you don't join our ranks, we're going to destroy you. So Flexner was sent to the medical field and the medical doctors and the, the leaders of the medical world at that time said, okay, we'll join your ranks. They're going to build us the best hospitals. They're going to, they're going to promote us in the media. They're going to lobby. So we have the best laws that we make the most money. As long as we sell your drugs. Okay. We're in. So they sold themselves out. The Hippocratic oath of first do no harm got thrown right out the window with that deal. And then Flexner went to another group of doctors who were primary care doctors at the turn of the century called osteopaths. They went to the, the Still family, 